Good evening, good evening, I am Zanji Kick, and welcome to Let's Play Elentra Part 20-something. I forgot, I'll put it on the screens at some point, but I have a special guest today. Hey, what's up everybody, this is Josue. Josue is back, oh no. <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> so many things. And either way, we're playing Elentra, and special thing, Josue is the one who actually introduced me to this game many years ago. Yeah, I must have bought this game uh, probably in 98, 99 I suppose, I don't, I don't recall. But I remember getting it because uh, it reminded me of a, a Genesis game called The Landstalker. So I thought it was the same character, the main character that is. Uh, it turns out it's not the same main character, but they look awfully alike. Ah, Nigel. That Landstalker was a fun game, problem is it was... If you don't remember, uh, what the heck are those? If you don't remember where you're going, and you take a small break from the game, you are gonna get lost. At least for me in Land Soccer. Yeah, I, I don't recall. I, mean, I remember having a lot of fun with that game, but then I probably just played it straight through. I don't think I stopped. It, it was, it, the only thing that was challenging about the game was just the isometric view. So it was really, really hard to just gauge where to land on certain platforms. Which is the same thing that happens in this game sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think it was as difficult though in this one. No, it, no not this one. Last Talk was much worse. Yeah. Yeah, it was frustrating last Talk, but it, 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 was, it was definitely a, a really awesome game. You know. My main issue with that soccer was just the final dungeon. I got lost in there so many times. I never beat it. Uh, yeah, that, that was one of the few games that I beat. I really enjoyed. I don't remember much about the ending. It, it, it was, I think, it was a long ending because the credits have had had their character running the club, walking through various uh, scenes, like at the beginning of the game. I think that's how it went. It's been so long. I don't remember anymore. Oh wow. And you figured that, that, I mean, last time, you know, I, at least I could pick myself when I beat the game, it's probably like, what, 15 years ago? Nice to be. Better than me, I never beat the game. Aww, <laughs> oh, no wonder there's so many of these punks over here. But, slime on me, no one So what are you doing? Right now I'm in the, uh, I'm in a place called the Megastar. Where, according to the villagers, it's, um, the place where they're born and the place where they go when they die. Okay. And so what are those things, those blood creatures? I wish I knew, they just appear. Oh, I see, they come from that, uh, uh that, little, that, that pile of us, uh, bones. Yep. Oh, but there's one thing about Landstalker, what's his name, uh, Nigel? Mm hmm He's actually in another game. What game is that? It's called Time Stalkers. Oh. It was for the Sega Dreamcast. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's for another system. But I implore you, do not try it. Really? Is that bad? Well he's not the main character, but I mean he is in the game, you can play as him. Right. But the game was terrible. Oh. It's um Well, once I figure out where to go. Right. Um the game was basically, you're this guy, I think your name was like Blade or something. Okay. Um, and you had to... Hey, let me try and figure out where to go. I was actually there last time. Probably this game, I try to figure out where to go sometimes. Um, you know what, wait, let me heal. Um, but the thing about Time Soccer is you were a guy, and he, your name was like Blade or something like that, and... You were stuck in this kind of world by this old man, uh -huh. and he had to go through all these dungeons. Uh -huh. First dungeon, I made it to level 30. Okay. As soon as I leave the dungeon, I'm level 1. Really? Yeah. Oh, I just screwed that up a little. Oh yeah, I screwed that up. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, um, and it just, it really really got on my nerves because I went through all these dungeons and the, and the enemies keep getting stronger. I did not know you could follow me like that. So every single new dungeon where the enemies are much much stronger, you always start at level 1. Oh. 
So, I, so I was kind of like, what's the, what's the point of this? What's the point right. of this game? Right. I mean, Nigel's there, but he doesn't even use a sword. He uses crossbows. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that doesn't sound. That doesn't sound good. Huh? You know, what's funny is that this game is still challenging and difficult, but this this comes from an era where games were were actually difficult. Yeah. And challenging. And this is before the. I mean, we had the, the internet was around, obviously, but it wasn't to the degree of. With that, oh, how much it is now, where, where there's these graphical or YouTube videos where you can just so figure out how to right. uh, pass each challenge. Right. Yeah, and these we had to figure out ourselves, and ugh. Yeah. The yeah. hours. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's that's right. Now you can just look up any walkthrough, but we didn't have that option, so we were just trying to make it up as we go, and yeah, I, I kind of missed that in some ways. I, I mean, there, there are, like, at least, there is one game that mimicked one thing similar to this. What's that? Oh, well, I have to keep the whole time. I'm an idiot. Um, it's uh, the recent Alien Isolation game. The saving mechanics are kind of like these old school games where the saves are far and wide. Oh. And no auto saves, no quick saves, no anything. You had to hope. That there was something nearby in order to uh, make it and, and save. And if you screw it up, you have to go back for like that whole half hour or whatnot. Oh. If that works. What are you trying to do? Jump here. Oh, I see. My name is. But honestly, this is, I said before, I believe, but this is one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say so. I've only been here once, though. Yeah, I did like once. I mean, it's this, for PS1, uh, now that I look back more at, at a lot of the games that we played, or not just played, but as seen and, and how games have developed, for me, the pinnacle of video gaming has been up to the PS1. Yeah, I, I do like the PS2 and PS3, but this, uh, this was the like the major. Sh this was like the last major shift, like in terms of graphics and audio and 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 game length, where where it was noticeable from let's say the 16-bit, you know, up to you know the 32-bit. When it, PlayStation 2, it, it just made it smoother. And there was more. There was more unique games out there as well, like. It's a fond memory when I think about these type of games. Don't get me wrong, though. I mean, I'm wondering if I should go for it with the flames and the treasure chest. But I know in this game that not all the treasure chests are good. <laughs> I, I mean, like sometimes the rewards are just like one gilder, and I'm like, I went through all that just for one little coin. <laughs> no, and I agree with you, cause honestly, like. Well, the best console, well, some of the best consoles were like either the Super Nintendo or the PlayStation One. Yeah. You know, um, and don't get me wrong, I love my PlayStation Two, my PlayStation Three, right. and my PlayStation Four. I love them. Yeah. But gaming-wise, the big, the big ones were like the PS One, Super Nintendo, Genesis. I I think also uh, believe that at least in terms of major publishers. It seemed like, it's, at least back then, there was a lot more freedom in terms of the type of games that were created. And what I mean by that is that there were a lot more risks in terms of content and, and, and style and story. Um, now it's it's really focused on, um, I mean, think about their multi-million dollar games that take hundreds of people and, 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 and months to develop. And so they have to invest a lot of those resources, so they can't take many risks because they need to bring back those millions that they spent on, on yeah. the Yeah. Whereas before, like a game like this, it's just, you know, it, it, it's unique, it's, there's not many of them. And, and it didn't require a lot of advertising and so forth. And it's, it's a pretty successful game. I don't know. I, uh, uh, well, I think what helps though is that it was brought over by working designs, which is 
was an awesome um, publisher for uh, for uh, several games. Oh, that one. I mean, yeah. Um. Sadly, they actually made a Alundra two. Yeah, I saw that. Is is it even worth it? No. Oh. I I mean. It's. I mean, there is dungeon crawling. Right. They, they made it three dimensional. Oh. But the story, the story was not that great. Uh, yeah. The story wasn't that great. The gameplay was, I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was nowhere near the level of this one. Nowhere. Did you think that, do you think that um, the game was focusing too much on trying to be 3D versus... You know, in other words, they, they, they were focusing on, you know, at that time it's... the 3Ds were becoming very popular. Wait, yeah, that, that is true. Um, or was it that it just sucked? And it, it didn't matter if it was 3D or not. Honestly, it felt like the story was just not there. The, the story was, like, this is a really deep, complicated story with a lot happening. Right. Um, that one was, honestly... It, it, it was like, you're just a kid, you get roped in by a princess to help with something, and then... Hey, pirates and whatnot. Oh look, you gotta save them. Okay, do that. That's mostly it. <laughs> mm. You know, nowhere near this one where you're going through dreams, save, trying to save a village. You know, there's this demon. Right. You know, there's someone else like you. Um, you know, you can... It, it was... One, another issue with it was, it was more kid-friendly. Mm. Like this one, people would die. Right, yeah, that's you, right. You know, and they dealt with, um, they dealt with gods. You know, um... Come on, attack me here. Flame the... How did you burn yourself? Um... Like, here you, you, you deal with demons, gods, uh, monstrosities. There, it's mainly just... Safe. And three-dimensional. <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to get the- oh, you're trying I, to get I, I'm, I'm trying to get them to come over to me. But they're being lazy! I'm over here! Oh! Go! Here! The game's- Alundra is really clever. But man, do I hate it sometimes! <laughs> There we go. Okay, we we got one. I see. Oh, you put a pack. Gotcha. You have to kill the enemies now. I think I do. I have to be careful that I don't destroy my pot. I mean, I, I won't. I don't want to accidentally grab it and then throw it. That was cool. <laughs> Are there? Do you have any? Have you got any of the other weapons? Here? I have the iron flail and the hunter bow, and this is actually the charger sword. So, ah, left, right. Oh, duh, left. Well, maybe left. I'll take you to the treasure. I don't know if this takes me to the treasure. I just know there's a second flame. Did he come from there? No. no, no, this one's different. Ah. I will take the treasure. <laughs> this is always important. So I can't even do anything. Oh, fudge. Fudge? I say fudge so I don't swear on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so I can't even get over there. Okay, so let me go back. But honestly, well, this is something I thought about. Would you consider this game kind of like a competitor to Zelda at the time? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it was competing, but it's in the style of it. it, it it's... It's not as, um, 
Zelda, Zelda has a lot of a family friendly though approach. Yeah. And this is, uh, this is much darker. So. Which is one of the reasons why I love it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's definitely. I definitely enjoyed, I enjoyed this game a lot. It was it was it was a mature it was a mature thing, but kind of not that not like kitty approach in any way, but just you know how most games are now are very adult. You know it, it, it's yeah. it's they, and I guess that's what I'm missing is like there this is a fantasy game, so it did take itself seriously, but it wasn't as serious. It wasn't necessary. So, so this would be like the adult version of Zelda. I would, I would, I would consider it. Which yeah. honestly, I greatly appreciated. Yeah. And I'm just using an ice or water spell just so I could heal. Yeah, if you have an opportunity to get more of your items, get them, please. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean... Oh, crud, I don't even know where I am anymore. Yeah, I don't... I got a flame and I got a portal. And I got drops of water. Yeah. Which I need for over there. Okay. Yeah. Which you have to be very graceful in this game, otherwise you are going to be out of luck. You can't take... I don't recall, can you take the flame with you? No, you can't go through the doors with an item that you find in them. Oh, son of a... <laughs> I love my throwing skills. <laughs> I, I want to check the portal first before I oh, go you. on through. Okay, where am I? Isn't that the same? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what that was for, but thank you, game. <laughs> it was for nothing? It, I think it's... Uh, I think it's honestly a point where you might, because we saw like a pitfall yeah. in the next area. I'm assuming you're going to drop into that pool of water, and then if you, so if you uh, screw up, you come back here. Gotcha. That's my guess. My goodness, you have to be graceful in this game sometimes, <laughs> and it is not easy to do. Oh, screw that up. I already know I did. Let's see. Oh, can I use that over there? Okay, so they both go down. Oh, so you use one, two. Gotcha. Oh, sorry. Let me see if I can do a middle point. Yes, I do. Okay, gotcha. Let me through. How many times do you say fudge a day? When I'm recording? Two, uh, like three times per video. Three? Really? Three? Why three? Because I keep screwing up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I try not to swear too much on YouTube. Yeah, I gotcha. You know, I, I, I try to be like somewhat friendly. But actually, we're running on 19... There's a lot of friendly people that curse. I know. I'm trying not to, to curse, though. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, uh, we're going to end things here, though, because we're running about, like, 20 minutes. Oh, fudge. See, don't copy me. <laughs> Grime cracker. I never said a grime cracker. <laughs> Marshmallow. I'm, I'm cursing up a storm up in here. I believe I have a friend who would say munchkin fritter. <laughs> oh. Jeez. 
But yeah, we're gonna end things there. <laughs> so until next time, everyone, have a great evening. Thank you for watching, and we'll play more Lunch next time. Bye bye.